Well, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is January 1st, 2023, 2023. How's everyone doing? Happy New Year! <laughs> good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. It's good to have you guys here with me always. Um, once again, thank you for all the beautiful comments. I really appreciate it. I just don't know how I can keep on keep on doing this constantly, even when I'm feeling like total butt. I uh, still pull through and still respond to all the comments, even though like I try to give myself a break once in a while, but I love you guys so much, I can't not respond to the comments. So I'm super, super stoked to be here with you guys and to be here for you guys. Um, this is going to be a snowfall update video. This is pretty much the end of today's and yesterday's storm, at least this impulse from the weather. Um, we got more coming tomorrow, but however, if, as you can see, it looks like there's more snow because of the snow plows, pushing all the snow all together on the sides, but at my house, guys, there's maybe an inch, inch and a half of snow. Very, very, very sad. And uh, we have a really good friend on this channel, you guys. Um, his name is Jeffrey Dean, and he has a YouTube channel. Um, it's called like, oh my gosh, The Solo Gigging Life. Um, let me just make sure. He lives up here. The guy's incredible. Freaking love the guy to death. Um, a lot of you have awesome channels. Um, but let me tell you about his real real quickly because it's it, it, it's something special. I think it's called The Solo Gigging Life. Yes, The Solo Gigging Life. And I'm telling you what, man. This guy has a couple songs that I haven't bought music in years. I would pay for these songs. I, I was shocked. Like, I was shocked. I could not believe it. Jeffrey Dean, The Solo Gigging Life. He and his wife are just the sweetest people and this guy is the quintessential rock star he everything about him freaking looks the part just everything the guy sings like a champ um but i'm telling you guys you guys will be so blown away like i you know it's uh i'm just so so shocked that i really want you guys to check him out the solo gigging life let me let me show you what his youtube channel looks like real quickly so this is what it is right there the solo gigging life I'm telling you guys I'll leave a link for you guys um, in the comment section because I am super proud of you guys you guys make me so happy and I'm just so proud to know you guys so much holy moly anyway Jeffrey keep up the good work dude you are freaking amazing dude and uh, yeah just absolutely beautiful beautiful music so let's see here. As a matter of fact, he just texted me. That's super cool. Yeah, I would never waste your guys' time. I really wouldn't. I mean, I think you guys would be shocked. Like, it's it's rock and roll. It's freaking awesome. So I hope you guys do check it out. I'll I'll post my favorite of the songs so far even though they're they're all fantastic and we're at bear mountain by the way but i was as i changed the subject i was saying that we got about an inch of snow at my house which is kind of sad a friend of mine in fawn skin said that they got about uh four inches of snow over there so but Bear Mountain looks beautiful, doesn't it, guys? Doesn't it look absolutely spectacular? <laughs> oh, it's just amazing. I mean, it's, it's just such a... We're, we live in such a gorgeous place. I don't know how I got so lucky to live here. When I first moved up here, you guys, I thought it was going to be impossible to live here because it's a resort town, and I figured it would be so expensive. There'd be no chance to live here. And then I found a little two-story place for $5.50 a month. Can you believe that, you guys? And I'm still in the same place eight years later. Um, I never thought I'd find a place for that price up here. And even all the other ones that I looked at, there were some other really nice places, like $7.50 a month for like a, a two-bedroom house. You know, it, it was mind-blowing to me. Um, but now, eight years later, there's no way you'll find anything like that. No way. It's 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 usorious now 
what they charge for rents up here. It's craziness. But I'm anticipating a market crash up here soon. And uh, I hope a bunch of you get a chance to take advantage of that. But yeah, $550 a month for a little two-story house. Yeah, my house is like 500 square feet, but still, it's, it's, it's cute. It's adorable, and I've done a lot of upgrades to it, even though I'm just a tenant. I figured, you know what, I can't buy a house, and I might as well just be comfortable. So yeah, I've invested a lot of money over the years into this place to make it comfortable for me while I'm here. And fortunately, they haven't raised the rents or anything like that. It's been steady, and it's <coughs> good property management. I, I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, yeah, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I can guarantee you, if my place was available right now, they would probably ask for 1500 and I'm not kidding. Just about three times more than it is now. That is so pretty right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, I think the snow for the day has, has come to an abrupt end. It wasn't much, it was just a nice little steady, very light snow for the past couple hours. <coughs> but as I mentioned in the previous video, when I did the video at like one in the morning when it just started snowing, it, it had been pouring rain for about three or four hours and then it changed over to snow. I, I was staring out the freaking window the whole time because as soon as it changed over, I was gonna jump in the car and I did. And the crazy thing is guys, is after that 50 minute video, as soon as I pulled into my driveway, big, huge rain drops came falling down. So it started changing back to rain again, and all four inches of snow that was on the ground melted away, right away. And I started feeling so bad for so many of you who were coming up today, expecting beautiful snow conditions when you're going skiing. I bet it was horrible. Just puddles of water every time you fall, splashing up in these huge puddles. I, I just, I, oh man, I'm, I'm just so, so bummed out for you guys. But I hope you still had a great time though, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and stayed safe and just took it with a grain of salt and just had a good time. I love you guys. Like I legitimately love you guys. You guys are my family. You guys are my brothers and sisters. And I couldn't be more proud to call you guys my brothers and sisters. You guys mean more to me than my own blood siblings. So, uh, and look at how beautiful these trees look over here. Oh my gosh. This is when I love this town is when the trees are just white like this. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate that a lot, bro. And by the way, I'm making another video right now. And I was so impressed with your music that I'm talking about your channel again. I mentioned you actually at the beginning of the channel. And uh, when this next video uploads, it's, it's basically gonna be the snow update video. Um, you should check it out and and as I said maybe leave a comment I'm actually recording right now while I'm leaving you this text message it's kind of weird but uh, yeah I just uh, it's you guys are super important to me and I'm just so proud of you you are so talented man and to have someone on this channel with your kind of talent like really makes me feel wonderful and there's a lot of you out there who've got amazing talents one of you guys does a, a ghost hunting service over in Great Britain, and uh, I, I'm, I'm always spacing his freaking YouTube name, but he is such a cool dude. Um, yeah, anyway, I just appreciate you a lot, my friend. And as you guys know on this channel, I'm always here to help you guys. If, if you guys need anything from me, I always want to be able to help you out or um, if, if I can remember. I try to remember shout outs and stuff like that. Um, I am 
suffering from brain issues from all the years of partying. So sometimes I forget, but I promise you, I don't forget on purpose. And I would never ever want to leave you guys hanging like that. I really do love you guys. And I, and, and I want the best for you guys. I want to help you guys succeed, help you guys grow in life. Because you guys have done that for me and you guys have saved my life. No, no greater compliment than I could possibly give. So we're entering Big Bear City, you guys. And I know I am pretty annoying sometimes and I just don't shut up. And people just wanna enjoy the beautiful scenery. If, in, in those cases, you guys, like I would, I would not be offended, trust me, I would not be offended if, if you guys wanna mute the channel and maybe play some like nice background music and just watch the darn video. Um, I, it'd probably make the video better <laughs> so um yeah but I it feels like you guys are here with me it's pretty amazing it really feels like you guys are right here by my side every time I hit this record button oh it's so pretty here we're gonna go across to North Shore and then come back down Stanfield Cutoff I'm interested to see what the view of the lake is from Stanfield right now <laughs> and I cannot verify this right now but a few of you told me that you were looking for places to stay up here for this storm and Motel 6 right here on the left was one of them and the prices were like over $300 per night three hundred dollars per night as i was saying in one of the previous videos i'd rather go stay at the emergency room and pay a thousand dollar bill than have to stay at motel six for three hundred something dollars i know that doesn't make any sense but i'm just trying to be funny but i have a couple friends who work there they're awesome awesome people so you're definitely in good hands when you're there i'll tell you that and we are crossing Big Bear Boulevard right here. Here's the convention center, catty corner from us right here. And there's like a bar in there called Wyatt's. It's pretty interesting. I haven't had a drink in nine and a half years. And I've been in two bars up here and it was to sing at Murray's many, many times and Big Bear Bar and Grill many, many, many times. I used to go to Big Bear Bar and Grill every single Wednesday. They start karaoke at five o'clock and end at about nine or 10 o'clock, but I would only stay till six because I didn't want to be around a bunch of drunk people. I really, really have issue with drunks because I hated myself when I was drinking. I hated myself and I destroyed everything around me. I destroyed everything and everyone around me. So alcohol scares me. I, I, I wish any of you that have any issues with alcohol, if, if, if you need someone to talk to, if you need some advice on to know how I finally did it after nine rehabs and two sober living houses, don't hesitate to ask because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. And if my experiences can help with your potential strength and future hope, then please, please don't ever hesitate. I'm, I'm all ears and I'm all down all day to help you guys. So yeah, we're gonna hang a left here. This is North Shore. We're on high, we'll, we'll be on Highway 38 when we turn left here. I'll show you guys where I got in my car accident in the other Subaru. I think I keep on forgetting to point out where that was. But we're coming up to it. Roll down the window a little bit. 
get this nice view over here. church so we're getting close to where I crashed it was coming the other direction I wasn't paying attention and someone was on the other side of the road there turning left which would be our right now into this parking lot right up here let me show you uh, we're almost there we're, we're almost there so Where this car is parked on the left-hand side of the road. Right about that exact spot in the middle of the lane, though, is where I rear-ended somebody because I wasn't paying attention. They were turning into this place right here, into this church, and I ran into them right here. Right exactly where that guy is. When I looked up, I tried to turn, and it was way too late. And my car is still being fixed months later. $7,000 later is what it cost the insurance company. Very much a bummer. Oh, look at that view. So unbelievable, guys. This is so pretty. Oh, I didn't... says my driver monitoring system is disabled <laughs> anyway show you guys where we're at right here those little red areas are bad traffic right now temperature is 30 degrees and here is one of my favorite views of the lake Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go back through uh, Lower Moon Ridge instead of taking Big Bear Boulevard. I hope we can make, oh wait, there's a cop. I'm gonna put the phone down here. I hope I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. All right. I mean, I think I can, as long as I'm not like talking on the phone and I'm paying attention to the road, but maybe I'm totally wrong. I'm, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably not allowed to be doing this, holding my camera. But you can hold a soda and drink it, so I, I'm, I don't understand. I get it if you have the phone up to your ear and, you know, or staring at your phone, texting. But I never look at the phone. I just hold it up. Look at these guys sledding. Yay! Yay, sledding. Going sledding. I miss those days of being overly excited for this type of weather. Seeing kids out there, it just warms my heart. It just warms my heart. Could have had so much more snow if it wouldn't have been raining so much this place would be that much more pretty you guys but it still is really pretty so we are on fox farm road now and 
as I said, this is just a basic update video so you guys can see what it looks like now because as the snow has ended. I don't anticipate any more snow until tomorrow, but um, <clears throat> you guys know what the forecasts are like here. We might get a blizzard in the next hour because there's not supposed to be any snow. The temperature is dropping because we're clearing out a bit. So the hot air is getting up through those clouds because the clouds are dissipate, dissipating above us. So the hot air is rising out of here. hope we hit a dip up here somewhere so I can hit it pretty hard to get some of the snow out in between, between my wheel wells. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And you guys, some good information. I, I should have said this at the very beginning of the video. Call 800 Caltrans. If you guys are coming up here, that is the most up-to-date information that you can get. You just type in or speak which highway number that you're planning on driving on and it'll give you the most up-to-date information what the chain conditions are like um, it's uh, it's it's a it's, it's a lifesaver it really is because I don't always know because it changes so frequently and on the other side of the mountain range driving up here you can get sometimes more snow and sometimes significantly less snow or no snow at all so sometimes I, I don't know what's going on anywhere outside of Big Bear. So always keep that phone number in mind, 800 Caltrans. For me, it's the easiest uh, method of getting your information. And it's very quick too, it's a very quick phone call. friends Robert lives right here he's a super cool dude got the cutest doggy in the world named Biko just the cutest little dog all right so we're turning left on Elm Street now we have come through the back way into lower moon ridge Is the beginning of the roundabout guys this is where we're at right here through that car wash right now, but I'll wait till tomorrow. Here's Apple's bed and breakfast. Our friend Anton wanted me to point that place out. Obviously, I'm going way too fast again. Anton, I promise you, man. I, I promise you, especially when I'm feeling better, I will get to it. I promise, dude. Anyway, peace out, you guys. Sorry again I talk so much. I just love doing this, and I can't shut up.
<laughs> Take care. Happy New Year's to you all. And if anything changes, we'll do another video shortly. Peace.